me try this bad boy. You know, in order to start a new year in a fantastic fashion, you gotta do something good, right? I'm not gonna make something complicated today. It's gonna be based on leftovers. Of what? Of this. Rosca de Reyes. La Fuas, the king cake crown. Fair enough. When you make those things, they do not last. And of course, any leftover of brioche, panatone, bread would do the trick as long as the crumb is still on the soft side. Trim and scrape off excess sugar and save and chop candied fruits. So you want to make about half inch thick large slices. Now I'm going to show you how to turn those into a totally unexpected, nonetheless awesome biscuit decor for your Charlotte. Which by the way can be made with pretty much any fruits you like. So the challenge here is to make sure that the decor is not going to fall apart. So the trick here is to flatten the bread first, to seal slices together, then brush the whole thing generously with melted butter, put the plastic wrap back on and press as much as you can to deflate the crumb completely, fix up some imperfections and repeat. Then you want to trim off edges and cut into four equal strips that are slightly lower than the height of your cake pan. So here I am using a 8 by 3 inch cake pan, but you can definitely use a cake ring. Next, hot pan, and I am going to sear my brioche on one side. Look at the trick. Now it's gonna go fast. Wow, now I can smell toasted brioche. It takes about 90 seconds to sear. Next, line the cake pan with plastic wrap. So in order for the wrap to stick to the mold, wipe the cake pan first using a wet sponge. If you don't have any, ask Bob. Make it nice and neat. And if there is any imperfection, use a pizza wheel. How smart is that? Cover the bottom of the pan with more bread and set aside. Next task, I'm gonna peel, core and cut each pear into six wedges. I'm gonna use six pears for the whole cake, by the way, and roast four, which is gonna be 24 wedges with tiny bit of oil and some sugar to get a beautiful caramelization on both sides. Flambe with some brandy, if you wish, cover and rest. Wow, gorgeous. So you wonder what's gonna happen to the two other pears we have in store? Well, those will be microwaved with some sugar, vanilla and lemon juice, then blended with a couple of melted gelatin leaves. The Diplomat Cream, which is a vanilla custard lightened with mascarpone and whipped cream. A delicacy from another world. Bring to a boil milk, vanilla and one third of the sugar. Meanwhile, combine egg yolks, sugar and starch. Temper a mixture, whisk well and put back on the stove. Bring to a boil again, whisking constantly. So medium heat and keep an eye on it. Not two, just one. Turn off the heat, add the melted gelatin and mascarpone. Blend well and chill. By the way, what's the difference between Crème Diplomate and Crème Madame? They are both pastry cream based with whipped cream added to create a light and fluffy mixture. Though Crème Diplomate has gelatin added to it to give extra stability and firmness. Next, whipped cream. Beat heavy cream to medium peaks and fold in custard. Ouh la la, ça va être bon. Now the fun, the Charlotte montage. Spread evenly some of the diplomat cream. Add roasted pears, candied fruits if so, and top with more cream. Add more brioche and set aside. With the remaining diplomat cream, you want to split in half. Half for uh, the pear filling and the other half for the topping. Mix the first half with the pear puree and finish the cake. 
the addition of the pear filling will definitely enhance the flavor and texture of the cake. Place in a freezer for three hours to set, unmold and keep refrigerated. In the meantime, I'm gonna toast some sliced almonds and cut in half the remaining roasted pears and decorate the cake. You know, you don't need fancy molds to create fancy cakes. This is what you can do with leftover bread and basic fruits when taste meets elegance. I hope guys you have enjoyed this rustic pear charlotte episode. To get the full recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net. For now, please subscribe, like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest at Bruno Albuz. Enjoy and see you next time. To be honest with you, I need another bite. Wow.